As a UT alum, I am mad. Members of the Texas Legislative Black Caucus say the state is moving backwards. Senate Bill 17, first of all, is an affront on our great diversity in this state. Our diversity is our strength. Last week, the University of Texas at Austin fired 66 employees who used to work within its former diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. CBS Austin spoke with State Senator Brandon Creighton, who authored Senate Bill 17 last Thursday. He called this a consequence of change after sending a letter urging compliance on behalf of the Senate Education Committee. We have to make sure our universities are the best, the most innovative, uh, the return on investment for research and our published professors being hired based on merit. But State Representative Gina Hinojosa, who's on the Public Education Committee, calls it a plot to divide, which she says can't be allowed to win. I'm so proud of the students who have shown leadership on campus, who have come together, who have organized each other and found their strength and their power. UT professor Dr. Brian Evans is president-elect of the Texas State Conference of the American Association of University Professors. He says the terminations caught everyone off guard, especially since all of the employees who lost their jobs had already been moved to different roles at UT. They did not deserve to be the victims of partisan political fights state leaders. Texas NAACP President Gary Bledsoe went as far as calling it First Amendment retaliation. It seems like the vast majority of people who will be losing their jobs are female. And we think that the majority of people who will be losing their jobs will be uh, uh, racial and ethnic minorities. Creighton is pushing back, saying it's DEI that violates the First Amendment. If you will not sign a mandatory leftist political loyalty oath, you need not apply here. That is uh, a chilling effect on free speech. And if you have a chilling effect on free speech, you don't have inclusion. Chairman of the Texas Legislative Black Caucus, Representative Ron Reynolds, is calling on UT to reverse its decision and hopes to see something done by the legislature. It is the worst kind of leadership where you use black and brown and the LGBTQ community as political pawns for your political agenda. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.